NASA is about to launch a new chapter of space exploration. An uncrewed test flight will mark the first time since the Apollo mission that a spacecraft designed for crew has made a flight around the moon. The flight is set for launch on Monday. So this morning we're speaking with Stu McClung. He is a NASA Orion engineer live from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Good morning. How excited are you? Hey, good morning. I am uh, really, really excited. I'm not quite as excited as those football players that you guys were interviewing when I was listening to. I'm trying to get to there, but uh, that was, uh, I am ready to go fly this vehicle. My guess is that this is, I mean, we know this has been a long time coming. Um, we, of course, Jim Bridenstine, the former NASA director, has been on our program multiple times and told us several years ago to anticipate this particular launch in this date. What does this mean for the space program? For us, it's a, um, for all of, the, of our team, right, um, it's a, a big first step for us, right? We've got, you know, as you know, the agency's doing all kinds of stuff. We've got Space Station is operating today, and James Webb and Hubble are, you know, we're still doing all that kind of science. For us, right, we're going to go fly this vehicle and uh, prove to ourselves that it's, uh, it's going to operate the way we expect. Uh, and it's really the first of just multiple missions, right? We're gonna, then we'll put astronauts in it on the Artemis II, and then we start setting up uh, the capability to take humans back to the surface of the moon and the vicinity of the moon. So it's a long, sustainable program. And, uh, you know, this is, this is like opening kickoff. Right. Uh, it's season, it's, it's time to play, and let's, uh, let's go get things started. So tell us, how does the new Artemis program differ from the Apollo program? So visually, uh, you people will see some similarities that the, the rockets are a similar scale. Uh, Artemis at, will have 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. So we're actually a little bit more powerful than Apollo was. Um, the, the capsule that I'll bring crew back in, uh, the crew module that I work on has a similar shape. Physics haven't changed. And so it has a similar shape, but beyond that, the intent of Artemis is to really uh, have a much more sustainable long-term capability. Um, you know, Apollo was a, a wonderful program, got out to the moon, got back, demonstrated we could do that. We're gonna do that, but now we're gonna stay, and now we're gonna demonstrate and, uh, and push science and push technology uh, in, on the surface of the moon and in the vicinity of the moon. So this is historic as well. Tell us about, obviously, you know, down the road, this is gonna be the first, once you have a crude launch, the people that will be on that mission will be people that we've not seen before. Uh, it's very possible. I mean, you know, the astronaut core um, is out there. Astronauts are typically assigned a year and a half, two years before a flight, so that should be happening fairly soon. Um, I don't, uh, I don't know who they are yet. There, it could be one that's already flown. But it could be somebody that's new, right? Uh, but yeah, it. Um, you well, know, the, this, joke, like, the joke has been that we, the, the joke has been that we've wanted a female to go up, and my coworkers are suggesting it's me. It's not me. I will just go ahead and you know tell them that. But a person of color. I mean, there's a bunch of different. Um, you know, it's always been the same type of astronaut that has gone to the moon. That's what's going to make this so a, incredibly significant. And explain to me. I mean, this is also a step, as you mentioned, about going to Mars. So the thought is, if I'm understanding this correctly, the moon may be that kind of place that we. We go to and then launch from there onto Mars? You could potentially launch from there. Uh, there's a lot of different architectures. There's also concepts where you would launch, have a way station uh, in orbit somewhere and launch from there. Uh, of course, a lot of what we'll find on these uh, during the Artemis missions is uh, really the fine details about uh, either launching from there or uh, generating, uh, you know, working with regolith. And then just operating, uh, having astronauts operating autonomously uh, on the surface uh, without the ability to return home quickly if, if they need to. And so it really allows you to, uh, to go push the science and push the technology. You know, when you start operating for extended periods of times, uh, you know, it's a, you'll learn things along the way that you might not have expected. And, and your, your point about the astronauts is, uh, is really good, right? The NASA, uh, we're going to have a, a, a much more diverse program. We've got a diverse workforce, and Artemis will also have a mixture of NASA programs, commercial partner programs, international right. partners, and so there's a big blend that's going on. It's going to be great. I got a wrap, man. It was great to talk with you, Stu. We look forward to Monday, and thank you for your time today.
Thanks for having me. Just a quick reminder, guys, this will be happening coming up on Monday. Artemis 1, targeted to launch, weather permitting, all of those parameters have to be met. It'll be coming up Monday, 7.33 our time. So we hope to bring you that live coming up Monday as Artemis 1 does its first trip back to Circle the Moon. Oh, can't wait. It's going to be so fun. I would be willing to go if there was a spot for me. I will tell you that.